Hello and welcome back to Authentic On Air with Bruce Alexander. I am your host, Bruce Alexander. And as you can see, I'm sporting my Cape Cod shirt because we just came back from the ocean, the coast, and I feel like a completely different person. Um, I want to start by just, for one, <laughs> talking about how funny the process is. I was ready to throw it all away and just give up on trying to be a healthier person ever again because my back was so jacked up. Today, I walked with my kids two and a half miles and I'm sitting here presenting my podcast standing up because I don't have a chair here. There's not, there's not a good sit down situation here, but I'm literally okay for the first time standing up for more than two minutes at a time. And that's on top of having taken a two and a half mile walk and done some intermittent hit workouts. I feel the best I felt in a long time. So I kind of skipped ahead. That's, I just am so excited to feel like my body is actually something that is helping me again versus it being something that is a hindrance and an obstacle to everything I want to accomplish in my life. So I just want anybody who is dealing with the darkness of being unfit or being in pain to know that if you do or if you're doing the right things and you're showing up for yourself, even when it's hard, it does pay off. Now, today I feel amazing. Tomorrow I might feel like crap again, but this one day is the best day that I've had in months. And so it is totally worth it just for a feeling of remembering what it feels like to actually <laughs> move my body again. So yeah, just keep trying. <clears throat> um, the podcast has really been, I mean, every, like all of my uh, content creation has been kind of taking a little bit of a backseat right now because for one, I was not doing a good job of trusting the process. I was trying to take everything back under my control, things I had let go and given to God. And I was really enjoying life by trusting a higher power. I had started to get scared and started to add things back onto my plate, just grab one thing at a time and add it back onto my plate to where I was in this, this chaos of scarcity. So like, I didn't really know how to operate. And I realized that I was doing this I was stacking and I was like, you know what? Like I'm starting to put things back on my plate that I had been feeling so much better knowing that I had given them to God and that they were things that I can't control right now. Like I can do the small steps. I can, I can do what I can do, but trying to will myself into more clients, trying to will myself into a house that's not showing up, trying to will myself into the perfect relationship is not going to happen. I have to let go of the result and show up every day and just be confident that I'm taking the right steps to build, build my dream life. And so having pulled back, taken some time to reassess and to just kind of reground myself, I feel so much better getting back into content creation today. So I, I'm usually one who's all about like, just show up for yourself, push through, push through, but the why has to be there. You have to understand why you're showing up and why you're pushing through because yes, on bad days, you have to show up for yourself because that's when you're going to grow. But if you don't remember why you're showing up, you don't remember what the process that you're supposed to be trusting is, then you are doing what exactly the title of this episode is, is you're being inefficient by being impatient. You are taking, you're getting so worried about the, the end of the process coming to you sooner that you're wasting energy, you're wasting time, you're wasting all kinds of things by trying to hurry up something that you can't hurry up. So let's cycle back a little bit. Sorry, I'm a little geeked up today. I got the blood flow and energy going. But um, as I said, let's just do our little, our, our four domain check-in, body body is feeling the best it has felt in a long time. I'm still standing right now. Like that is something that would not have been happening a month ago. Um, so well, I've already been pretty good about that. So I'll move on to my being. Um, it's hard because I was not feeling as close to God because I didn't realize that I was, I was hiding in that fear again. I mean, and this is something that I'm, I, I am very, open and saying is I'm scared a lot. I'm trying not to get paralyzed by that fear. And I'm trying to stay on, on target and on focus to what I need to keep doing to keep taking small steps to building my dream life. It is easy to get impatient and try to hit the home run and you end up striking out. I don't want to strike out anymore. 
I don't want to keep trying to take big shots. You know, like I don't want to go all in every time I sit down at the poker table and either hit it big or lose all my chips because most of the time you lose all your chips. And this has happened to me multiple times, and I'll talk about that more in a second. So that's my body. That's my being. Like right now, I just need to show up and stop hiding from God because he already knows my shortfallings. He already knows my fears, and I just need to be truthful with myself so I can know that he sees me. I can feel seen and validated and heard, and I can cleanse myself of those fears and just walk in faith for him. And that's a, it's a very different feeling. Like It doesn't mean that you're no longer scared. It just gives you a, a strength to keep moving. Um, my balance, things are going really good with Kate. We, you know, we have been, I just realized we've been on the road for a month and a half. We have been without a home for a month and a half. Like I, it has happened so quickly, but it has been truly amazing to like all the things I've taken my kids to see, all the things that Kate has accomplished that she said she would never be able to do. She's done, and we have grown closer together through all of that. And um, and I'm really thankful for this journey for giving us that. And now, honestly, I would love to also find some place to call home. That is really, you know, really what is kind of weighing heavily on me right now because this living from Airbnb to Airbnb life is not cheap. Um, I don't have any doubt that in the future money will come, but I don't want money to run out before we find some place that we can call home. And, you know, and start to put down roots again. So uh, that is something that has been a little bit challenging to work through. But Kate and I have been really good at kind of taking turns as to being strong for each other. And that's like, that's a real partnership for me is that I can be vulnerable and I can talk about whenever I'm struggling and she steps up and carries the weight for me. And today was one of those days where to start the day, I was feeling really heavy and I was really struggling with not trusting the process and with, you know, trying to bring the end result to me right now. And she said, it's okay. She was just there for me and, you know, and let me, you know, express my concerns and heard me and saw me and validated me and let me get all that toxic crap out of my brain. And then I felt so much better. It's so different whenever you have a partner that you're able to, to speak truthfully to, and you don't have to put up a front. When you're putting up a front, then you have nowhere to turn whenever things are tough. You have nobody to talk to about who understands the, the, the truth of the predicament you're in. And that's a scary place. That's a place that led to a lot of dangerous things for me. Um, so body being balanced um, and also things with the kids are, are going great. They're going with my, you know, every time I go exercise, they go with me and we're having great walks and we're having more experiences because I'm more physically capable to do things. And I'm more present because I'm less worried about how I'm showing up for them and I'm just showing up for them. And, you know, that's a lovely feeling. And to just draw energy from that relationship is a really great experience that I, I continue to feed into and it keeps feeding back into me. And business. This is the one that continues to be a struggle because I'm a new business owner. Like really, like in all things, like in the scale of all things, it's only been a little over a year since I struck out on my own and it's been less than six months and I really solidified who I'm trying to serve and what I'm trying to do. And so sometimes I, I, I doubt my ability to do what I do, even though my clients have all seen the success of me doing what I do. I just have trouble remembering that success. I have trouble remembering that I am good enough. I'm good enough for this and that eventually I'm going to find my client base that is going to allow me to do this full time without the fear of where the next paycheck is going to come from, without the fear of scarcity, without the fear of how are we going to pay for this place that we're trying to live. And I'll tell you what, the first step that I think that is going to help drive me there is being able to present like this. Like I'm, I'm better at this, being able to be free in my body and like stand up. Like this means I can go out to people and start having conversations again and not worrying about like, where, is it, where can I sit down? Where, you know, I need to make sure there's a place where I can be seated or I'm not going to be able to like be at that place. This is, it's a game changer for me. So physically being more fit has got me more excited about my business again. Also like, you know, truth be told, nobody wants to take advice from a fat person, you know, unless somebody's fatter than me, then they might, but most people aren't really keen on taking any kind of advice from somebody who looks like they don't know what's going on in their body, which I do. 
you know, and I'm doing all the things I can to take care of it. So I'm not really concerned about what they think, but I, I know that perception. And I know that once I am, I am more fit and well taken care of, it'll be, my appeal will be much broader. And so I'm really excited about that because I, I see, I see the growth happening. I see where I'm starting to like, you know, gain ground on that vision of me who was, who was this leader of, of people, this leader of ADHD parents who is bringing them along and helping them see the success that I've seen and, you know, feel the growth that I felt. So, uh, that's, that's business. Unfortunately, the, the truth of the business is like, I need more clients. I just, I just do. So I've been trying, like, I try to, to set up a, a group thing and use Facebook ads. And there's just a lot of noise and people who were not serious about like improving their lives. And I thought about doing it for a low cost. I thought about doing it for no cost. And I, like, honestly, I'm just, I'm, I don't know what's going on there. I like, I haven't figured that part out, but like this free consultation game, I'm really serious about about just trying to get people in and have conversations with them that change their life. Just one conversation to help their lives get better and then to work with them moving forward if they like it, or if they if they see value in it, if they can if they can make the investment of themselves, but being happy that I just got to make an impact on somebody through one call is is the goal right now to get more of those calls. So all of this circles back around to you have to trust the process. You have to, for one, you have to know what your process is. You have to know what the big picture you're driving towards is. And then you have to like define the steps that you're taking and then just let go of the result. It's like, if you are doing what you set forth, you are going to assess, you're going to evaluate, but it's not about the result. It's about how you're about, you know, looking at the process as it goes and how effective it is being. And sometimes if you're working on things like me and my back, I had to just trust that it was going to work because you can't tell from day to day how how much less pain it pain is sometimes. Sometimes you just have to trust that it's going to work. And you know, in the big part of that I didn't understand before, you know, the past few months of learning how to trust the process is that whenever you tell the truth and whenever you're truly open and vulnerable about the process you're developing, then God enters that process. And it is like, whenever you can't figure out the answer, the, that answer is God. And that is what I've felt is like, whenever you just show up and do the steps, God is going to help get you to where you're trying to go. And I, I have so much trouble trusting that in business because I, I don't know why, like, Business and God are not something that I've I felt like have matched in the past, but I know that it's true because God is all things. So like, God is my body. God is my relationship with my wife and my kids. God is, um, God is my relationship with myself. Why would God not be my my business as well? So it's something that I have to stop trying to rush and be more patient with, because whenever I stop being patient, whenever I stop trusting the process, I waste money, I waste time, I waste energy, I waste resources, and it's it's silly. So that is the overall goal of this whole process is trust the process and don't be so much in a rush that you're being inefficient. I'm going to keep it short because I want to go back and hang out with my family because it's been a great day and I want to continue it. That is it for today. I will talk to you next week on Authentic On Air. Thank you so much for listening. And also, if you would like to have a free consultation call where I promise I will give you at least three strategies or techniques that will help improve your life today, then please go to www.impulsive.life forward slash consult and get free, like a free one hour call in which I will give you those techniques based specifically off of the situations and the struggles that you are going through right now. Uh, it says for ADHD parents, and I am really looking to help change some lives and help to see the same growth I've seen in mine. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.